need to stand on established protocols. But um, even though I'm standing on the protocols, I think we must be um, honored to whom it is due. Uh, the public interest law partnership, um, we are privileged to have two of the main forces behind it when it was set up with us today. And one of them is my distinguished and illustrious predecessor in office, Mr. Ade Paye, who is currently the Deputy Chief of Staff in the Presidency, a very powerful man by any means. And um, I mean, you know, you, you need to know the kind of stuff he's made of for him to give up all his duties and come to be with us this, this evening. Thank you very much, sir. We, it was a tag team then, and we are also privileged to have with us the tag team partner, as at that time, in the person of Mr. Lawal Pedro, SAM, who was the Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Justice. So with this kind of thing, I'd love to be with us this morning but um, duties of state have taken him elsewhere this evening. He has a speech which I will now read for all of you. It gives me great pleasure to join you this evening in celebrating the successful closing of the Public Interest Law Partnerships 2021 Pro Bono Week. It is highly commendable to have the private sector work hand in hand with the state government in creating a more equitable environment where access to justice is within the reach of everyone in our community. PILP was launched by my predecessor in 2012, that's Dr. Noor Raji Fashola, and has since worked to build a platform that complements the various existing state-funded initiatives which all provide free legal services. We know that despite the government's best efforts, the best and most effective approach for providing pro bono legal services to the marginalized in a society that is home to over 20 million people is through a collaborative effort with the private sector. I therefore want to start off by sincerely thank thanking all PILP partners working to represent the poor, disadvantaged, and vulnerable citizens in their state. It is only through the organization's partnership between the government and over 250 lawyers and NGOs that they are able to advocate on behalf of the voiceless, the vulnerable children, women, and men who, due to their financial means and status, are unable to access justice and secure protection of their basic rights and privileges as human beings. The Lagos State Government is proud of the work of its legal aid agencies, the Directorate of Citizens' Rights, the Public Advice Center, the Office of the Public Defender, and the Citizens Mediation Center. Every day, dedicated officers from each of these offices commit to assist children, men, women, and the vulnerable and have oftentimes triumphed in fighting their causes. Despite their efforts, a lot more is being implemented having regard to the vast population and the high ratio of those that fall within the needs bracket. Government cannot do this alone and calls on more of you to partner with us. These partnerships with law firms, NGOs, religious organizations, and many more are necessary to harness resources and increase the number of those who can provide free legal representation or advice to those in need. Without further ado, let me use this opportunity to thank the PILP partners who have diligently and selflessly represented several indigent residents of Lagos State, thereby helping to promote the rule of law, access to justice, and equality before the law. Their names will now appear on the screen.
program. I thank the organizers, partners, and all stakeholders of the PILP for choosing us and for creating an enabling atmosphere for carrying out tasks assigned to us and for being available every step of the way. Many thanks to everyone at Habiria Mustafa, particularly Shebu Mustafa, for their hard work, commitment and dedication to this cause. Finally, permit me to call on my colleagues of the noble profession to join this program in whatever capacity that they may as every little effort counts. Thank you. I, Olani Wajua Janoku, of Pinnacle Solution Chambers, have accept the award and contemplated to be given today to me on PILP Pro Bono Council in this regard. I'm grateful to the organizers. Thank you. to receive this PILP Pro Bono Award. We are grateful to PILP for recognizing what we do at Wallabies Legal Practitioners in providing pro bono legal services to facilitate access to justice for the less privileged. Many Nigerians do not understand or appreciate the judicial system. More so, the general assumption is that they cannot afford legal services because of the cost involved. And this is oftentimes true. We recognize the efforts of PILP, hence our avid interest in partnering with the agency to enable and give such indigent citizens the opportunity to have excellent legal representation at no cost to them. It has been a rewarding experience since 2012 when the firm partnered with PILP. We remain committed to this partnership. Thank you very much for this recognition. Please, can we have another round of applause for our, our lead? The next task which I've been given tonight on behalf of Mr. Governor is to join the board members and staff of PILP in officially launching the online access to justice platform. As I've already mentioned this evening, the Lagos State Government is delighted to continue to play an essential role in facilitating and promoting the delivery of pro bono legal services by private sector lawyers, which will in turn reduce the burden on government as the sole provider of legal aid to indigent citizens. As part of our efforts to take tangible steps towards building the culture of pro bono in the country, the state supported the development of PILP's online access to justice portal, which is about which is to be deployed towards the advancement of the organization's objectives. It is therefore my pleasure to officially declare the portal open to the public. You can now visit www.pilp.ng to gain access to all the public interest services that PILP has to offer. The online platform will provide an opportunity to effectively share relevant information relating to unrepresented indigent awaiting trial inmates from our criminal information systems to be registered pro, to registered pro bono lawyers who are willing to provide free legal services to the inmates. By deploying this technology, PILP is building a sustainable model of pro bono legal service delivery that can reach a much larger scope of marginalized and dis disadvantaged members of the community, particularly those who are unable to transport themselves to legal aid and pro bono offices. 
we are pleased to have played a part to have played our part in the future of access to justice and we encourage you all to take advantage of this of the platform. In closing, I congratulate PILP, ably chaired by distinguished Senator Daisy Danjuma and the entire team for organizing the 2021 Pro Bono Week. And I look forward to learning about more of your milestones in the future. Babadide Sanwolu, Governor of Lagos State. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Please can we have another round of applause for the Honorable Attorney General representing His Excellency the Governor of Lagos State. Thank you so much, sir. Um, I think we'll quickly play the second round of our days while we invite Mr. Ade Paye to the stage to receive the um, portal that has just been launched by making some remarks on behalf of the um, PIO people, the trustees. Thank you, sir. Will be associated with the remarkable successes that is being recorded by this organization in the administration of criminal justice and in its drive to provide free legal services to those who cannot um, afford it. I am driven by this passion and I will not relent. As for me, this recognition came early because I feel that we still have a long way to go. We will continue in this drive and in this pursuit and we will not get weary. I'm so honored once again, and thank you very much for this recognition. Thank you. Hello everyone. Oh, I'm highly honored and elated. My name is Mandy Asaga, the principal partner for Mandy Asaga Chambers, President, African Legal Law Association, and founder, Legal Pool for Just and Equity Initiative. I'm indeed humbled to be nominated for this special award, the 2021 Public Interest Law Partnership Pro Bono Awards. I must commend PILP for this invaluable opportunity given to us to serve humanity and also giving our access to justice to the indigent and vulnerable society. This is one initiative that has brought support to so many. I must say PILP, kudos to you and keep up the good works. Thank you. I really appreciate this one. Thank you. Uh, let me quickly assure you that I'm not going to uh, make a speech. Uh, rather, uh, mine will be uh, something like a vote of thanks uh, because this has been uh, a journey, and like all, like all journeys, uh, a hazardous one. Uh, let me start with the Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Babajide Sawodu, and my very illustrious uh, successor in office, uh, Mr. Moyo Onubanjo SAM. Uh, between them, they had the option uh, to kill or to nurture uh, this program and they have chosen the latter. Uh, it is growing thanks to their commitment to see it grow, thanks to the fact that they appreciate the value uh, that is in it. 
I'm very pleased to have here today uh, my workmate of those days. Uh, I, I call him Haji Pedi, uh, Alaji Lawal Pedro, SAM, uh, who was then Solicitor General and uh, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Justice while I was uh, Attorney General. Uh, our achievements uh, in that era couldn't have been possible but for the support that he and other directors in the ministry gave to me. Uh, but that is not to forget uh, our captain then, uh, Governor Kabatunde Rajifa Shola SM, who gave us uh, implicit trust, uh, endless support, whatever we asked. So when we brought this idea, uh, even though it was supposed to be a public-private partnership, we still asked him for money. We said we wanted to set up a trust, and we thought we shouldn't go about asking uh, private uh, people to put money in it unless the state uh, puts the initial uh, seed fund. And I remember it was at City Hall, we had the lunch, and the governor announced the uh, seed fund that enabled us to start this. Uh, and my, my colleagues in right from inception, I'm very glad that uh, Professor uh, Fagbo, Larry Fagbo, SAM, is here today. Uh, we called on him. He had nothing at all to gain, uh, but he always, and not just on this matter, uh, there were several initiatives that uh, we were trying to work on, and he was our constant resource, and he never failed us. Uh, he always uh, put in uh, his all uh, to ensure that whatever we plan to do together uh, succeeded. So it was no wonder then that <laughs> Prof, thank you very much. Uh, he went on. Uh, if you know Lagos State University, you know that the administration uh, has always been a tough one. Uh, but he saw through a term as vice chancellor of that university. Uh, without any such administrative crisis that we had almost become uh, used to, uh, which, which is a clear demonstration not only of his uh, personal abilities, but also of his uh, ability to rally uh, his colleagues and structure the institution uh, in a positive uh, way. So thank you very much, uh, Professor uh, Larry Fabian. Um My other colleagues, uh, I remember when Mr. Uh, uh, Ahmed uh, Detola Kazim said that uh, in those days, the time and effort and even money uh, that he needed to uh, nurture this program, he gave, he gave everything and has consistently, it's interesting that all of us are here uh, this evening, so I'm glad that I was able to make the journey uh, to be here with you uh, today. Uh, I know uh, Professor Ayoashenua, very uh, high level and busy uh, engagement, uh, wouldn't divert her, you know, from uh, her usual dedication to the cause of justice, access to justice, uh, and things of that nature. So I'm glad that you are still uh, involved, and I know that you will remain uh, involved. Uh, this is a this is a duty we owe to humanity. Uh, so it's not enough to teach the law. It's not enough to make the law. We must make sure that. This law serves the people. 
And unfortunately, we have a society where a lot of people are poor. And even when they are not so abjectly poor, they are grappling with a legal system that is derived from a foreign soil. So you don't take to it, you can't easily flow with it, unless we have programs like uh, the one that we saw here today, that informal uh, justice program, which little, little tips about how the system works can actually enable the poor guy to navigate it uh, successfully. So I also thank uh, our friends uh, who had the courage uh, to get into our correctional facilities. I'm sure not uh, a lot of us have had that experience, even though we are right here in Nigeria. But they came uh, from the comfort and convenience of their own home uh, countries and came here to embark on this very worthy uh, project. Uh, I was delighted not only by their presentation, but also by the, uh, the drama that we saw, which so aptly captures, uh, captures the situation out there. But listening to the panel, I could see that, yes, we, all the right answers are known. So we only need men uh, who would uh, implement, men and women uh, who would implement those uh, solutions. Solutions. I want to thank the Attorney General of uh, Ogun State, Mr. Bolahon uh, Adeniro, uh, who, with uh, Larry Apishola, were working with me in those days, and together we were able to not only conceive of a lot of these things, but to see them uh, grow. Now, for me, uh, she was there from me on here, and, <laughs> and when this thing started, uh, I could see that, okay, this is someone that uh, not only will help us to start this thing, she's someone we could leave it to. Uh, it, because any, any structure of this nature, uh, you can have a board, you can have trustees, I mean, I'm a trustee, but I'm in Abuja. What can I do? You need someone that will be the backbone of the project. And she had served uh, not only to maintain it, because that is one big uh, achievement, but also to see it grow, you know, and bring in new ideas, and always find ways to uh, make it work. Uh, so. Uh, I'm really glad uh, that Fumi has kept the flag flying, and I'm sure that this uh, deserves a big, very big round of applause. Uh, so despite her uh, marriage in the meantime, she's now Fumi Ayet, uh, she's still as dedicated as she was on day one. And I want to acknowledge uh, Mr. and Mrs. Owea, who are also here with us. They were even from, from the word go. That is the extent of the support. Whenever we had uh, occasions like this, they will come around to uh, support us. And I'm glad that uh, not only is the, uh, uh, the, the, the project growing, they can also see the ability and capacity uh, of their daughter uh, to see through a big project uh, of this nature. So I will not uh, bore you further. Uh, I thank the Lagos Public Interest Law Partnership was envisioned by the Lagos State Government in November 2012 as an opportunity to explore alternatives to government-funded agencies by facilitating a mutually beneficial partnership between all stakeholders involved in the provision of pro bono legal services. Since 2012, the One Stop Center has provided a referral service that links experienced lawyers with eligible pro bono clients.
digitization of our clearinghouse, we aim to ensure that access to justice is within the reach of every resident of the country, irrespective of his or her geographical location and financial needs. Our stakeholders all across the country are able to create online digital accounts through which they can efficiently increase the impact of their pro bono services while having access to quick and easy public interest services. To register as a pro bono partner, select the Get Involved button and follow the instructions to sign up. Thank you very much. Uh, for me, when you said I should come up and make remarks, after the speech of the attorney, the, the Honorable Attorney General representing Mr. Governor, after the speech of the Deputy Chief of Staff to Mr. President, I was asking myself, what speech am I coming here to make? I think what I'm going to be doing is to give footnotes to what has been stated this evening by way of trajectory of what we expect of the pro bono project that we're working on. I don't recall when Mr. Adel Payer called me in 2014 and said, this is the job at hand, together with uh, Mr. Kazim Aditola and a host of other credible colleagues of ours. And we'll work at the Ministry of Justice till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the night, because it gave us a deadline. And the mandate was clear, we must deliver. Fast forward, 2014 to today, see what we have been able to achieve, working together with our partners. So what I'm going to be saying is this, to our very credible partners, that is our promise to you, we will not fail. All our partners, both national and international, and on that basis, I say thank you to you all, and God bless. Thank you so much, Paul. So may I just request that you stay, and I welcome all board members, all speakers of today, to just join us on stage. Ask Chap as well for a group photo, please. And then afterwards, Ask Chap will just make a brief closing remark. Thank you. Thank you all so much. So please, all board members of PILP, all speakers for today, the moderator, Please let's all just have a quick group photo. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Kazi, thank you. We're excited to see it scale up, so I'm going to let you close out. Thank you so much. And bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> thank you, uh, Fumni. Um, all the appreciation to you, uh, also uh, on, on our end. Um, it has been a, a great journey. You started this journey with us in 2018, so four years ago. And that is mirrored by the words and the presence of so many dignitaries today who are all involved in the pro bono work and, and try to help uh, the lives of the indigenous uh, people of, uh, of Lagos. So, so many things uh, on our end, and uh, it's a great honor to, uh, to be here. Thank you. Just also quick thanks to uh, Alliance Francais, who hosted us for three weeks in their apartment. So, big thank you for that. And also for the place for tonight. Um, yeah, so we will continue. This was for us a pilot and a kickoff uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the informal justice court. Um, the inmates will start to work on their own, but we will definitely follow up with them in order to see how we can uh, scale up. So uh, we hope to inform you uh, in the near future. Uh, you can always follow us on our website, informaljustsquare.com. And please be invited for the big play, like we said earlier. Yeah. Hoping to do that uh, July 18th, the day of prisoners and prison staff uh, here in Lagos. We'll also perform for the inmates, but also if you join us coming to Ikui Prison, it will be a great opportunity for some of them who have not been there. And otherwise, we'll perform it maybe here or another great venue that uh, the Lagos offers. So, uh, thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>